leader, Andreas Mikkelsen from Volkswagen, and our four-time World Rally champion in second position, Sebastian Ogier, and in third position, representing Hyundai, Hayden Padden. Just like to say hello to everybody who's watching at the moment on Facebook Live on the Rally Australia website. Uh, guys, what a fantastic day it has been out there today. So exciting. And we're going to have a thriller of a final day tomorrow. Andreas, you are in the lead. You do still have the advantage. It's a slim one, but you still lead. How are you feeling at the end of the day? Oh, it's, been a, it's been a tough day, for sure. It's uh, some really long stages, and it's been really warm. So I uh, had to take a little bit care of the, the tire wear in the afternoon, try to find a good balance between going very fast and, and saving the tires at the same time. So I think we managed that quite well. Uh, unfortunately, we had a small issue on the Vala stage where we dropped uh, around 10 seconds with a, with a clutch which was bent over the brake pedal. So I had to drive half the stage with, uh, with brake pressure on and um, that was not really optimal. So lost some really valuable seconds there which I definitely wouldn't like to have for tomorrow. Um, okay, it's now down to two seconds and Seb is pushing hard. So for sure it will be a very interesting day tomorrow. How did that clutch pedal get over the brake pedal though? How did that happen? No, it was uh, in, in a cut. Uh, we have uh, several of them in, in the, during the stages. And uh, I don't know, I have to look on the, on the onboard video because I'm not really sure what we hit or what could have caused it. Suddenly I just felt that I didn't have any, any drive. I mean, it was really lazy, the car. And then I saw my pedal was stuck over the other one. So yeah, uh, not really, well, that's what you really call bad luck. <laughs> but uh, okay, tomorrow will we'll be, uh, full focus for tomorrow will be an interesting one. Yeah, it will be an interesting one. Full focus. It has to be full attack. He's just two seconds behind. Hayden's only 12 behind. My goodness, are you feeling the pressure, Andreas? Uh, or yeah, not? For sure, for sure. It will, be, it will be an interesting day. I mean, all of us three who are sitting here, we have nothing really to lose. Uh, I want to win for sure because that brings me the chance to, to win the rally and also take that second place in the championship, which I really, really want. So I will, I will give it my everything. I'm sure you will. What would it mean to you to take away what will be the final win for you with Volkswagen? Well, for sure it would be very, very special. Um, but yeah, it's been, uh, it's been uh, many years now with a great team and it's really sad to see it come to an end tomorrow for sure. When we wake up it will be uh, very uh, strange to knowing it's the last day together. Um, but we have a big fight in front of us so I think that should be the main focus tomorrow and then we'll We'll do the, the sadness or the, um, the celebrations tomorrow. Andreas, thank you very much. Let's turn to Sebastian Ogier now then. It was a big challenge for you today, wasn't it? You kicked off with a 50 kilometer stage. You could have lost bucket loads of time on Nambucca, but you went with a soft compound tire, really clever choice, and you didn't lose too much at all. Were you thinking at the end of the stage, yep, I know what I'm doing with my tires? To be honest, at the end of the stage, I was still not sure. I, I had to wait for the time from the other, but I, I knew I had to try something in this way. Uh, it was not really a gamble because, to be honest, I, I couldn't say I was sure it would work for sure, but uh, I had a feeling it, it should work and uh, it, it worked. So, uh, no, I think uh, it was a good idea. Uh, we didn't lose any time uh, on, on the loop of the morning on Andreas and we gained a lot to Thierry. Uh, we only lose a couple of seconds to, to Hayden, so I think it's been uh, yeah, great. And the afternoon uh, even better. I mean, uh, being uh, second tonight was uh, not really expected this weekend. Still in the fight for the victory, so no, we are so far very pleased with the rally. I should say so, and it's only two seconds now going into the final day. And, like Andreas, I'm sure you're going to give it everything tomorrow to get your final win with the team. A team that's given you so much over four years. Yeah, for sure. I think... I arri arrived here this weekend with uh, no pressure on the shoulder. I know that uh, I knew that it would be difficult to fight for a good result starting first on the road, but I gave everything I had. I took a lot of risk this weekend, and uh, so far, uh, yeah, it works very well. And there is no reason to change anything tomorrow. Now I'm uh, finished with my uh, road sweeping job, and tomorrow it will be only, a yeah, only a fair fight now between uh, all us three. And uh, I think it's gonna be very exciting. It's nice to have a. Last day of the season like this. Yeah, it certainly is. It's great to see that excitement level. But, you know, Andreas has the chance of getting second in the championship, Seb. If you win, that takes that chance away from him. Are you not feeling generous in that sense? <laughs> yeah, the truth is I, I was not ho thinking that 
this weekend I will be involved in the victory fight. To be honest, uh, I was thinking, okay, I will suffer a lot. If I fight for the podium, it will be great. And in this way, I was ready to help him for sure, to try to beat Thierry and, and uh, help him for the championship. But now that we are thinking about uh, <laughs> fighting for victory for sure, uh, we cannot really uh, do that. And especially, uh, I mean, Andreas is a fighter as well, and I mean, he is able to defend his position. And uh, I think it will be even much more enjoyable for anyone who win tomorrow to, to win it after a proper fight. And I think everyone wants to see that anyway. So that's what will happen. Uh, yeah. Will yeah, I agree with Seb there. Like, we are, we are sportsmen. We don't really... If you want to win, you really have to earn it and uh, without really helping each other. So uh, I fully agree with Seb. I hope we all can go flat out tomorrow and, uh, and, and then let's see the results in the end. I can't wait to see this fight tomorrow. It's going to be great. And Hayden Patton is a massive part of that fight as well. You were the king of the Nambaka stage earlier on. Incredible times through there. You told us yesterday, today is your favorite day in the whole championship. Putting a little bit of pressure on yourself to do well. You did this morning. How do you think it's gone as a whole day? Are you happy? Oh, I think we, we certainly have to be happy. Um, <laughs> for sure, there's always places where you can learn and improve more. Uh, this morning went well. Um, we, we lost a little bit of time this afternoon, but... All in all, we're in a position where, uh, okay, we're on the podium now, um, but we're in a position where we can maybe put some pressure on these guys up front as well. Well, that's what we're hoping to see. We want to see a three-way fight for the, uh, for the win tomorrow. 57 competitive kilometres left, though. Not a huge amount. We do have a long stage in there, the Bucker stage. How are you feeling about what we have left in terms of stages and how good you are on those stages? Well, we're going to find out how good tomorrow. Um, but no, really looking forward to it. Obviously, when, when you're in this position, uh, you know, you have to give it 110% and, and give it a shot. Uh, we're going to, you know, throw the kitchen sink at it tomorrow and, and do everything we can. Um, I'm also realistic that catching 12 seconds to these two guys is probably the most difficult task that, that can be. But uh, anything can happen. Uh, the, the long booker stage tomorrow is, is new. It's never been run in this configuration. So pace notes and, and it's a fast stage as well so um, you know we'll, we'll give it everything we've got. I know you had high expectations coming here Hay Hayden if you were to walk away without a win tomorrow but still on the podium would that make you happy? <laughs> well, it depends how tomorrow pans out of course a podium's always nice but a win's always better but uh, you know as Andreas and Seb said that, that everyone's going to be going flat out no one's got anything to lose so um, yeah, when you're this close, uh, I think the target now has to be to try and uh, to try and win. You've had your personal cheering squad here this weekend. Over a hundred of your fans have travelled over from New Zealand to watch you. What's that been like? Yeah, it's great hosting our own group of uh, you know we've got four buses out there that we're looking after and, and they're enjoying it. And there's many many others here as well. So um, you know it's great to see a lot more people out in the stages this year and and uh, obviously all the Kiwis and. Hopefully we can give them something to cheer about tomorrow as well. Well, let's hope so. Now, guys, I know we have some signed hats for you to give away. And you were going to ask a question to everyone out there. So I hope you've got your thinking caps on. Andreas, you have a question for your cap? Ah, so they, are, they win the cap if they answer right. Correct. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So is everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, Here's so a question. So where did I end up? in the overall of WRC last year, like the championship. So where in the championship did Andreas finish last year? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> there was a guy over there that said it first. However, this kid is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Brain power is good. Is it signed? Yeah? Yes. Yep, yeah. good, perfect. Okay, Seb, I'm hoping your question is going to... I'm hoping you guys are going to perform a bit better. Right, Seb. Uh, <laughs> I try. How many WC victory I have? <laughs> That's the title, but... Uh, how, ma how many wins? How many wins? How many rally wins? No. Nope. Less. Okay, it's in between. It's in between 39 between. and 37. Yeah. <laughs> right. The first person to hit my hand gets the hat. There you go. I'm not getting the hat, am I? No. Did you get the hat? Go and get the hat. 
Yeah. Right, Hayden, I am hoping that someone is going to get your question. I'd be surprised if they don't, but uh, let, um, what was my first car? <laughs> Go over the white hat. <laughs> well, when we come back next year, we need the level of rally knowledge to go up a little bit, I think, guys. Have to say to all of you, really big, huge good luck for tomorrow. Make it a thriller for all of us. Well done for everything you've done this season, and good luck for the final day of WRC. Thank you very much, guys.